Hello everyone, it's Omaji, and I wanted to connect today to share in this exquisite energy of the full moon in Aquarius and the Lion's Gate, this energy of trust, because we are in an accelerated ascension opportunity. And when we trust, we can allow the streamlined welcoming of what we're actually being invited into in the higher octave, in the higher timelines, the higher expressions that are literally right here in this moment of our journey as a humanity and as individuals. So as it honors you, you can invite your higher self to work with your energetic fields, the guides, the council of light to remind you how to trust and what it feels like how to and that it's safe to trust, to trust the ascension, to trust your journey, because that design, that divine design for your ascension was laid out by you for you. So what this really boils down to is you trusting you. You trusting that the infinite wisdom inherent within you, the divine intelligence that you are, orchestrated the perfect path for you. And you're on it. And you really can never not be on it. Even the perceived mistakes and lessons are part of the journey. They're part of the path. And while there are alternate experiences available to us, along the way. Our path is our path. And so can we remind you from a higher aspect of you that you actually know exactly where you're going. And then on some level, you actually know the steps ahead of you. And in this level, you maybe only know the step you're on. And that's okay. That's actually part of the divine design is for us to just be on the step we're on and to trust to trust that when it's time for the next step we'll know we'll be nudged we'll move into it very naturally very organically so we'd like permission to support you in moving into the remembering of how to hear feel your way through if you will receive guidance through the heart And we would invite you to retrieve all the responsibility for trusting and all your reference points for trust off of everyone and everything outside of you, even an external deity or the universe that you perceive outside of you, and to bring it back into your column of light. So that you're trusting your light you're trusting the divine source extension of you that you are. And you're referencing trust appropriately within your beam of light that emanates from source, not trusting an external circumstance or future. You're not putting your trust into the future. You're holding it in this now moment within your light. And then we'd invite you to activate more trust within your light, the level of your higher selves. We're going to invite the body Davis to do the same here. And deep breath in. And I wonder what it would take for you to move through this lion's gate, this gateway of ascension with grace, with ease, with allowing, with trust 
in your journey, in your path, in your ascension in an honoring way, in an empowered way. And whatever doesn't allow that, will you release and uncreate it? So as you relax into the flow that is already present, it's really the flow of your own light stream. And as you trust it, as you abide there, that flow, that freedom, that expansion gets to very effortlessly reflect in your experience of your life, in your experience of your ascension. And it's really only the resistance and the doubt and the fear that creates the reflection of distortion where we perceive things aren't lining up or we're not in the flow. That's an indicator where we separated from our own light. We were attempting to give our power to an external source to guide, to protect. And so be willing, if you're willing, to retrieve all of that back into your beam. That's where the flow is. That's where the wisdom is. That's where the guidance lives. Directly from source. And as you access it there, it can reflect in your experience of yourself as guidance showing up in various forms but you first access it within your light, within your energetic fields. That stream of energy, of resonance, of divine essence that is you, that's your source of everything. You have an infinite supply of all things within your beam, within yourself. Your beam is you, you are your beam. This physical form is temporary. It's the vehicle you're riding in. But you, as a being of light, are eternal. And everything you require, the safety, the support, the love, the guidance, the freedom, the wisdom, the trust, the security, is within your light that is source itself. And as we move into the systems of oneness, the ways of being in oneness, we remember more and more on a conscious level how to hold ourselves in alignment with this source, in right relationship with this source. And it gets easier and easier and easier to trust more and more and more. So we would invite you to practice this throughout the next days and weeks, because for about the next two months, we're going to be on an accelerated ascension timeline through the equinox and beyond. And if you're guided to join us, we're going to be doing a five-day immersion during the equinox in September, and we will be taking advantage of this opportunity of accelerated ascension to ride this wave into the highest possible octaves available. So you can learn more about that on our website at embracingtheinfinite.com. You can also join us this weekend for the Lionsgate transmission on August 8th. And we have other opportunities available to work with us on our website at embracingtheinfinite.com. Much love to each of you. And may you navigate this time of accelerated transformation and ascension in an honoring and empowered way. Namaste.